Hello everybody, in this video, we will talk about food, more precisely jelly. So I assume most of you already knew about jelly. It can be jelly beans, it can be pudding, it can be gummy bears or many more. But did you know that different ingredients may result in different properties? So here, we want to talk about carginan and gelatin and how those ingredients make jelly. So here, we have gelatin jelly and carginan jelly. Three types of carginan, iota, lambda, and kappa carginan. Each of the types have different properties, but in this video, we only took iota and kappa since lambda cannot form gel. Let's talk about the mechanism first. If you take a look on the structure of kappa carginan, it has one sulfide, while iota carginan has two. Pay attention to that because that structural properties will have a play layer. All types of carginan are in a random coil formation when heated. By cooling, the random coil form double helix. Due to the two sulfide in iota carginan, the gel cannot form compactly, which result in elastic and firm properties. However, kappa carginan has one sulfide, which is able to form compact structure. It results in a more hard and brittle texture. In gelatin, even though the reaction is still not clear, but here's the general idea. The gelatin forms a complex bond with polysaccharide while heating due to electrostatic interaction. By reduction of charge density, polysaccharide shortens the distance of the molecules. Let's say we use santan gum for the polysaccharide. In the cooling process, gelatin and santan gum create complexes which aggregate. Once cooled, the complex is concentrated and bridged by the gelatin triple helix formation causes biopolymer rich domain. The result of this is a brittle and hard texture. Let's talk about the melting temperature. Gelatin melts at 35 degrees Celsius, while kappa carginan melts at 50 degrees Celsius and iota carginan is 10 degrees higher. Thus, gelatin unlike carginan has melt-in-mouth properties. Here is an example video about the difference on gelatin and carginan on the texture. So, next time you make jelly, you knew what ingredients you should use.